Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to stop a delegate receiving meeting invitations in Outlook. If you want to prevent delegates from receiving meeting invitations, you'll need to edit or set up a delegate in the desktop version of Outlook. In the web version, the only way to stop them receiving meeting invitations is to change their permissions to edit. To do that, open Outlook and head to your calendar. There, go down to the calendar that has a delegate and click the three dots. Then select sharing and permissions from the pop-up menu. Next, click the bin icon next to the delegate. Once removed, type their name into the text box at the top and select them from the drop-down. Now set their permission to edit, and then hit the share button. If you're using the new Outlook, you'll need to use the same method for the web version. Or, you can switch back to the classic view. In the classic view, head up to file. Then click on Account Settings. And select Delegate Access from the drop-down. Here, you can select the delegate and click Permissions. Or, click Add to set up a delegate. Locate and select the delegate by searching, or by scrolling through the contacts list. Once selected, go down and hit Add. Then hit OK. A dialog box will appear, where you can set the delegate's permissions. Be sure to uncheck the box next to Delegate Receives Copies. Then set the permissions to your requirements. When you're done, hit OK. Mac users will need to set the delegate's permissions to edit, using slightly different steps. To do that, head to your calendar. Then go down to the calendar that has the delegate, and click the three dots. Select Sharing Permissions from the pop-up menu. In the Calendar Properties dialog box, select the delegate. Then change the permissions to edit. Finally, hit Done, and the delegate will no longer receive meeting invitations. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it. And, you'd be helping us grow the channel. Remember to check the description for additional links and resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.